Hi, George Fashion here, helping you unlock your team's genius. In uh, this video, I'd like to share a few thoughts on your emotions. Um, I have recorded a previous video about your thoughts, and this is a follow-up video about your emotions. Now, when it comes to emotions, once again, you are not your emotions. Your emotions are simply uh, experiences, feelings that your body is offering you in response to um, what has come through your own experience and filtering system. Um, so it is a common belief that uh, outside we experience something, there is an activating event and it makes us feel a certain way. Now, um, actually, that's not the case. There's something in the middle and that is the processing of the activating event through our entire uh, lifetime worth of experiences, all our filters and preconceptions and so on and so forth. And then based on the meaning and the value that we associate um, subconsciously, uh, in many cases with an activating event, we are responding with an emotion, right? So we are not our emotions as little as we are our thoughts. We are also not our thoughts. So um, it is also then with practice that over time we can become more self-aware and check in uh, once we experience an emotion and say, hold on, I am feeling a certain way. First of all, what kind of emotion is this? Is this a positive emotion? In which case, thank you, this is a nice experience. Or is this a negative emotion, one that does not help us advance in our life, one does not help us um, uh, gain any wisdom? In which case, what did we tell ourselves just before that? Right? So there was an activating event, uh, event, we ended up feeling in a certain way. So what did we actually tell ourselves just before that based on the activating event? And that is where the true wisdom then lies. This is where we can create our, uh, increase our self-awareness and check in on our self-talk. Right? So we want to foster more positive self-talk, more empowering self-talk. So on a, based on an activating event, uh, if we notice that the things that we've been telling ourselves about that are not positive ones, not empowering thoughts, then why don't we change those, right? What beliefs are coming up for us uh, that are not empowering? How can we change those? What is coming up for us? And uh, through the uh, practice of doing this more and more and more and more over time, it will get easier and easier over time. In the very beginning, it will be difficult, but it is a journey and it will get easier over time. And it all starts with creating your self-awareness. When you feel an emotion rising uh, in you, you can start to become more aware of it. You can analyze it and work out, okay, this is emotion is uh, that type of feeling X. Uh, okay, is it a positive one? Is it a negative one? Is it one that is uh, constructive or destructive? Is it, if it is destructive uh, one, one that is not helping me? What um, beliefs of mine are coming up? What thoughts of mine are coming up? And uh, what work do I want to do in order to transform those into more positive ones and more empowering ones? Okay, and uh, with those few words, I want uh, to wish you all the best for your practice to um, help you grow your emotional intelligence, help you grow your self-awareness and uh, create a more um, self-empowering um, set of beliefs that help you achieve your goals. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye.